Well, good very, very early morning to y'all guys. I will be uploading this video with Nomad Internet this morning. I need to do some fishing, y'all. In order to do that, I had to set an alarm for 5 a.m. <laughs> I'll make coffee and uh, go try to pick a spot, possibly a new fishing spot today. It's early. It's early. It's also a little chilly, but it's going to warm right the heck up. Here we go. See, and even when we break these records for heat, it still got down to 60 degrees inside the RV. Just running one box fan all night, uh, bringing some air in, and then I had the top vent out here blowing some air back out. And then it's gonna get back up into the 90s today for one last day in the 90s here in the Pacific Northwest. All right, I think this is gonna be the spot. Got some lily pads out there, some steam coming off Black Lake. Try to catch some fish. May also do some magnet fishing while I'm waiting to get a bite. I can definitely multitask here, keep an eye on the end of the line out there. We sunk it to the bottom with about uh, 18 inches with some power bait on there. So definitely keep an eye on that. This is our dock over here, fishing with uh, Andrew and our new friend over here. Hey, Sue. <laughs> We're going to give it our best shot here before it gets really, really hot. In the meantime, let's pop that magnet in. I'll keep an eye on the end of my pole. Using the 2100 uh, pole, going to tap. A little bit of metal on there, so I just kind of listen for it to see if it kind of picks up anything, but the... You can also feel when it just starts to get a little heavy. Oh, not a nothing. Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> a complete full jar of power paint. That's fun. Been down there a while. That's cool. The other reason why you know you're going to find stuff is because I've literally dropped stuff off the edge of docks, so... Bubbles. Metal. Woo! Plus, there's some uh, good fishing pliers there. Not really good. Some bottle caps and... What is that? I don't know. It's part of a reel, part of a rod. Something. But yeah, maybe a good pair of pliers. Oh! Uh, oh. Murder weapon! Oh, look at that. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. No, it's a, it's a fishing... Oh, geez. Like it's actually in knife. pretty good condition, too. That hasn't been there very long. That might not be a murder weapon. That might actually be a fishing tool. That's a good find for the tackle box, though. Nice. That doesn't want to pick it up. Wait. No. I think you got it. Oh, yeah. Something there. Holy whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's big. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Oh. Okay, I've... That's a mystery. Why is that in the water? What is it? It's like an old tuning fork almost. <laughs> like you hold it, ding! It's been down there a while and some bottle caps. That's heavy too. That's a heavy piece of steel. Wow. Score. Patty too. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh-huh. It's usually the way it goes for me. No biggie, I had fun. It was nice pulling some fun stuff out of the water with the magnet at least. And then go uh, check in on Jax and then I'll start uh, packing up. Because it's gonna be warm today, I still gotta find a body of water because I'm gonna want to dunk. It's just, I gotta do it. Hey, blackberries. So this is where we are with blackberries. Still got a lot of unripe ones. There's a red one. And there's a couple that are starting to get ready to go. Give it another week or 10 days here and everything in here is going to be ready all of these are going to be ready and you're just going to have snacks everywhere blackberries i like blackberries but yeah i'm gonna start packing her up we'll go try something else today well i'll be honest with you Jax. if you expected a human who was going to catch you lots of tasty fish you may have picked the wrong human buddy i'm not a very good fisherman uh-uh but you know what i do know where the cat treats are i sure do so i'm okay right all right Glad, I'm kind of glad you picked me, actually. <laughs> Found out they're putting a chemical in Black Lake, and it's going to be closed for like a week to swimming. We're like, well, we were just fishing out of there. So Black Lake is currently closed. So they came to a Pioneer Park, got a couple tubes. Got some viewers coming over here to say hi to Jack. So we're going to go float for a little bit. And uh, I've already filmed quite a few floats. I don't think I'll film anything, but I'll get back to you in a little bit. No, I said I wasn't going to film, but I actually brought my iPhone in the case as we came down here. and. 
I've been down here several times where this beach was completely full and packed and everyone was tubing. <laughs> it's completely empty except for one fly fisherman down there. So uh, I guess today just nobody wanted to do it. I don't know. A little shallow right here. This is the beach we chose to get out at here. There's the fisherman down there. There's the deep spot where I'm gonna be hanging out. And we got well, one, one family here enjoying it. There's Andrew. There's our tubes. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I like it when it's happening and partying down here, but it's also kind of nice when it's peaceful and quiet and everybody goes back to work. <laughs> Whatever, I work. Give me a break. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels It won't stop turning So take me on a trip, trip, trip Now, trip, trip, trip Oh, I flip that switch City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight Well hi there Chocolate Kitty Jax wanted to know if the grass was greener here Chocolate Kitty is the grass greener Are you precious? You're so precious Oh you're so precious Jax wanted to know Yeah that's that's Jax that you hear He, he kind of cries Yeah Jax he um Yeah he kind of he kind of cries He's like, man, I saw you pet that other kitty, and, 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 yeah, and so, yeah. But we can't adopt this kitty because this kitty is not up for adoption. This is somebody else's kitty who eats the green grass, yeah. Anyways, it did get a little warm there on the river. What a crazy day. Nothing worked out today. All, all my plans were changed. Didn't catch a single fish. Caught some cool trash. That's <laughs> just, just the way it goes, right? Um, geez. Sun's gonna set in about three hours, and I have no idea where Jax and I are gonna sleep, so we're gonna figure that out. We'll get back to you? Yeah, we'll get back to you. In the meantime, Jax would like a full report on the grass tasteability. There, Chocolate Kitty. Mocha, mocha Kitty. What's your name? I feel like you should be a Jamoka. Don't you look like a Jamoka Kitty? Yeah. I know it shows up. It's like a chocolate brown cat. I've never seen a, ch a chocolate mocha kitty. <laughs> Dad, stop looking at that kitty right now. You already have a kitty. Okay, man. Want a treat? You want me, want me to get a little treat? We got some temptations right here, okay? I'll just unscrew it. I'll, I'll just figure it out. Don't worry. Here, here we go. I can figure it out. Is that how we do it? Okay, good boy. Him's a good boy, Jax. You want to come cut up? Excuse Hello, we do not help our... Holy cow, we don't help ourselves into the bowl. I swear, man, I know some putzes with butzes, but you take the putz cake, okay? Okay, this is where I'm gonna overnight park in a, in a parking lot here, a, a truck parking lot behind Cabela's. Uh, and, and to be clear, um, you know, I've been hanging out with my friends and family a lot since being back in the Northwest. It's no fault of their own. Of course, they would love to invite me over. It's just, uh, there's just certain rules and regulations and, and I don't want to get down about Thurston County. Uh, so I, I gotta go do my own thing at night. I, you know, I gotta take care of myself. So um, I'm gonna go back out tomorrow and hang out with more friends again. But uh, today, on the way over here, I stopped at a thrift store I have visited like just a week ago. And sure enough, they, they get more inventory in and guess what? I found some more Mickey stuff, so I'll uh, show you those tonight. Yeah, today was a toy day. I got a Mickey Mouse, I don't, I don't think he's a fireman. I think he's like, he's just wearing a, a, a rain jacket. <laughs> I don't know, I've never seen anything like it. It looks really similar to the Mickey Mouse Halloween plush toy that I've already got. And that ended up being worth $55 from Disney Parks. So um, yeah, we like that one. And I got another older Mickey Mouse piece. No, I can't figure out what date it is, but you can just tell sometimes by looking at them. They're a little older, a little different, right? Okay, well actually I did get a two pack. I got the, the it came with Mickey and Minnie. Since I just have a Mickey Mouse collection though, I only kept the Mickey one, the Mickey slipper shoe. Mm-hmm. A pretty unique older plastic Mickey Mouse toy. He's a little bit flexible. I mean, his his movements and and stuff. Two ninety nine for that. Actually, no, that was half off. That was a pink tag, half off. So dollar fifty for that little plastic toy. Kind of a unique little smile there, right? And this one. It's Mickey Mouse. It looks like he's riding an inner tube, right? 
I had to think about this one because he's got a trigger here. Okay, there's also a, a fill port right there. If you look at the front, when I flip the trigger, it's a bubble machine, y'all. Yeah, you put you put bubble fluid in it, and then every time I go like that, it, it makes a new bubble. It takes uh, batteries. Again, $2.99, pink tag, so it was $1.50. Jax absolutely loves it. He says, Dad, that was a pretty good find, man. Good Mickey stuff. Heck yeah, man.